Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I uploaded my last video. And now we've finally gone back to fully physical class and I'm here with my PBL group for our weekly case discussion. And of course, our weekly outing. This time we are at Street Thai for our lunch. I'm with Zheng Pei walking to our clinical teaching place which is the nephrology ward. Here are my super cutie pie clinical group mates and I'm really really grateful to have them for my clinical days because they are the best. And our clinical doctor, Prof Wan, he's also super nice to us. So we're really grateful to have him as our clinical doctor. Here's our weekly clinical outing and this time at Fei Fan Hot Pot. I really thought I can rest from there but I had to go back to the hospital to get Prof Wan's signature because our management just released a new attendance sheet to be completed and I'm the group leader so I have the responsibility to get it done and I'm so tired I just want to go home and I've been so sleep deprived recently I chose to continue to study in the library usually I'll either study in library or most of the time in postgraduate room I feel like I can study more efficiently when I'm not in my room maybe because of the chilly and quiet environment that makes me focus better. Not to mention my room can be quite hot at times and we can't really open a window because monkeys can get in. And yeah, meet Henry, he's asking to be in the vlog. One more reason that I like to study in public places is that I can see a lot of friends here and Seeing them so hardworking really motivates me to study more and for a longer period of time. Disclaimer, there will be more parts of me studying in this video. So if you don't like that, maybe you can skip the part where I'm studying. I'm not sure what you'd like to see, so maybe you can tell me in the comments. It's a brand new day, started off with erectile dysfunction lecture in TJ Danaraj Auditorium. This is my first time here. We should be having classes in another lecture hall, which is DK4, but the air conditioner needs some maintenance. Toilet break! This probably doesn't look familiar to you, but this is you when you are in your mother's womb. Yep, the more you know. Again, the <laughs> Abang Dalami who brought us dessert. It was so good, so thank you so much. After lunch study at postgrad, the food coma is definitely hitting really hard. I feel extremely tired and sleepy because I'm sleep deprived. I don't know if anyone has this same habit as me but I'll count my sleep depth every day and try to force myself to sleep earlier that night though I'll have to admit that it's not all the time effective. Different lecture hall today at Clinical Auditorium which is by far my favourite because of the huge leg space. And here are some presentation by my friends. The first one was Jeffrey and Zi, and this is my bae, Jiayi, and next to her is Rex. After class study at library with Jane, well, here it seems more like a discussion. <laughs> I'm walking back today and I'm really excited, as you can see from my face, as I finally can rest. Morning! I'm really loving the beautiful sunlight and I'm here walking to the faculty with a lightened heart. Here using a shortcut to reach postgrad. I also realized it's quite hard for me to coordinate the button that I want to press while I'm filming because my eyes are looking at the phone screen so it looks kind of funny. Here's my outfit of the day which is scrubs again because I have clinical. And I packed lunch today. Yay! Having some early morning study before classes start. Battling the sleepiness again because I'm not having any coffee. Purely because I am scared to be coffee dependent. Which is something I don't want this early in my med school journey. Here are some pre-lecture faces. Happy and energetic with Jai, Jane and Yuqin. <laughs> Oh, I really love this hall so much. However, DK4 air conditioner is fixed already, so yeah, we are back at DK4 for lectures now. Mm -hmm. 
spot my cute carrot pencil. Exploring our clinical place with Al after class. And quoting Amil, he said that this leaf is even nicer than mid valleys. We are having procedural skills today, which is catheterization. So it will be in CSU, Clinical Skills Unit. I've never been here before, so quite excited. And we found a super nice pantry here that came with a very comfortable looking dining area. Wish we could come here to have some food someday. Filling up our stomach before clinical while celebrating for my ex PBL mate's birthdays. I always cherish the time that we have to sit down and have a nice chat while having good food. Alrighty, time for clinical. Here's some warning for you. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's a male anatomy model. And this is his bladder. Sean's showtime. I have no idea what he was doing. More models which most of them with functions yet to be known. This is probably a pregnant belly. And more more models. Again, viewer discretion is advised. This is a female anatomy model. Here's Joel's attempt on removing the tap to have a look what's inside. Yep, it's a success. <laughs> time for the catheterization class. Finally, the time for me to rest and I'm here appreciating the beautiful view in KK6. Although it's been a very long day, seeing this view makes me instantly relaxed. I added a stop to buy some groceries and seeing all these fresh fruits and vegetables made me feel very happy too. A lemon a day keeps the doctor... Oops, that's the wrong food. Well, I used to eat lemon like how you would eat an orange. I thought it was more convenient because I don't have to squeeze the juices out manually. But I stopped doing it now because I know it's not good for your teeth. And here I'm at the bakery to get my breakfast for tomorrow. Uh, why am I editing my vlog at midnight again? It makes me so hungry. Let's cook up something for dinner. And the menu is salmon, miso soup and tomato with eggs. Back to KK5, my room really needs some cleaning. And look what I found, they aren't even mine. Okie dokie, please enjoy! Finally visiting our KK5 parcel room and now I kind of understand why the parcels are kept on being stolen. And let's have a look at our Corporasi or it means like a small convenience store. It's quite comprehensive. They even have pufflova today. Dinner with Jane and Kasing today. And yeah, this is Jane's camp. Woohoo, it's the tsunami. Gosh, my mouth is watering again. Look at them boiling in a hot soup. Mm. Sexy. Mm. 
it was a good dinner and we went for a second round for waffles which was really good as well Saturday, I joined Sila Mental Workshop, something that I've been looking forward for a very long time. Thanks to a friend, I finally have the opportunity. I really learned a lot in this workshop and will definitely continue to volunteer and meet all my lovely friends. Here are some photos of the whole week. I also went to the national debate competition, an unforgettable experience. <laughs> and our school, UM's team won. Congratulations! Early morning to Tianhou Temple or Tianhou Gong. I was mesmerized by how beautiful this place is. Loving the sun. More grocery shoppings. I really love exploring new places like cafes or stores, and this is a new grocery store in Pabika. There's something special about buying groceries alone. I always feel like I'm really adulting and have the sense of taking control. I didn't find anything really intriguing, so I'm back at this usual store to get some stuff, and I was really craving for juices. Perhaps I've stood at this place for 15 minutes just to compare different brands. What I look for are minimal ingredients and also zero sugar and preservatives. Okay, I finally decided it's you. Oh, I need to recommend to you my favorite almond milk, which is this one from 137 Degree because of its rich taste and it has only two ingredients. Checking out the pastries and cakes, they look so, so good. Okay, I really should have taken a trolley, but I'll just use this as an excuse to skip my arm workout. Alright, I'm satisfied. That's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I'm glad that I'm able to share my life with you and I'm grateful to have you guys. As always, stay safe and stay healthy. Till next time, bye!